Hey, what is up everybody? It's Jimmy here. So recently the Iron Mace has nerfed Barbarian. Yep, it happened another time and basically the bar dish, as you may already notice, based on the previous patch, got nerfed. But even though Bardish got nerfed, the um, Barbarian and this build with Bardish in particular, it still remains to be strong and pretty much in today's video, we're gonna go and try hunt very very geared players. We're gonna try to put ourselves in the risky situations and we're gonna try to fight and bait our counters with the build that is also gonna get countered by those counters. Now pretty much the beauty of a barbarian is that you can make this uh, class to be able to counter every single class, but not at the same time unfortunately. This build that I'm currently running in particular is going to counter uh, squishy classes and uh, it works really well. The, on the other hand, there is another build in particular which will counter PDR. This one will have a reckless attack, but also on top of this you would have to go with Berserker. Well, I'm not a big fan of this perk, I just really like Axe Specialization. And also, if you like to go against casters and withers, or warlocks, um, Iron Will is going to be your best friend. Um, there's one build in particular that I'm going to test in the future. It's going to be the combination of just damage. It's going to be the Axe Specialization, Savage, Two-Hander, and um, Berserker. So pretty much we'll have four perks that just does damage. That would be probably also something to, interesting to test out. But anyway, as for now, we're just going to go to play with our regular build. And hopefully, hopefully we'll find a lot of cheesy geared players. So yeah, I'm back on the grind, I'm back on track, we're gonna go kill uh, some juicy juicy players. But before we get into the video, I want to remind you, only 32.3% of people who are watching my channel have subscribed, and the rest didn't. Consider press subscribe button if you're interested in a variety of broken builds and other stuff. But anyway, let's hop into the game, let's go clap some cheeks, and let's see how far we're gonna get. Alright, surprisingly we haven't come across a single player yet. Well, we could go check mid, or we could go to the trolls room. The mobs are not dead here either. Interesting. I usually don't really go too much to high roller because it's fucking dead map. So far, I've played like three high roller games. Um, two games, people are just literally running away, and uh, it's just not fun. By the way, we have dead mobs here, so oh, fucking dead corpse arrow. I would assume a ranger or maybe fighter. What the fuck is this shit? Did you see that? Or am I fucking tripping? The what? What? I don't even know. Listen, I want to talk about this. Maybe just a uh, desync or something. Could be that too. Like the weapon feels so fucking weird. It's like a hit scan. Oh wait, is it a bow? Like the weird bow, the um, named one? Elven bow or some shit? Maybe it is, yeah. Maybe it actually is. Oh yeah, it is. Wonder where he got it from. Ah, imagine if I would get him here. It'd be fucking such a free kill. It would take a while to kill him. Oh, had to try. Alright, so what's gonna be the plan? Gotta wait out the pot, that's for sure. Alright, he's definitely gonna be like full HP here. Okay, that did some damage. Nice. No more than two hits, we gotta heal up to full HP. We're doing good so far. Oh, fuck. Let us fight, dog. Don't interrupt, please. I think we're fine, man. Looks like your homie is chilling big time. Oh, man, the fucking bard is probably already healed up. It's fine, though. It's not that deep. I won the fight once. I'm gonna win it again. Just have to, you know, put some effort, that's all. Maybe he's not on full HP. Nah, he's probably is. I'm pretty sure he already popped like a surgical kit or something. Took fucking forever. Alright. No, 
no, no, no, no. We gotta hunt this guy down. But if we die, it doesn't matter. But if we kill him, oh, fuck yeah, bro. He's gotta start wiggling. I'll be able to catch up. He doesn't. He, like, doesn't give a shit. Bro, he doesn't even move. The homie fucking walks in a straight line. Hey, yeah, yeah, walk away. Nice, free hits. Awesome, we got ability to reset. The homie is panicking. Nah, the homie is legit fucking scared. Ah, that would be such a free hit here. I'm missing out on like 5, maybe 10 moves, but... Start wiggling, dog. No, he doesn't. Doesn't give a shit. Alright, maybe... Alright, where she's gonna go, let's see. Nope, he's going back. Alright. Itadakimasu! Oh, <laughs> he got owned by a fucking mob, there's just no way. I'm not sure how geared he was, but um... He could've just simply woke up to me and fucking foreshot me. But he fucking did every single mistake known to men. But maybe I also played well, so... I guess I could take a little bit of credit. For the most part, I try to utilize on mistakes that people do. The thing is, when people don't do mistakes, I simply can't even get to utilize my playstyle and I just die like a bug. But if I get a little bit of room to wiggle around... Yeah, no, I could win most of the encounters. Alright. Holy fuck. Oh shit, you have a bow. You got that nice little sweet juicy bow. Holy cow, that's incredible. That's my first unique, by the way, that I got from a player's. No, that's the second. The first one was the buckler that we got with the repos. And this this is the second one. But I would say this is my first solo um, bow that I ever got. I think I have somewhere a screenshot of the all the unique items I farmed in the previous uh, wipe. I played with uh, Frog a little bit and it was actually a pretty cool experience. I'll try to find and put it in here. Alright, I think we're kind of stacked up. I think we're good to go. There's no point to even stay here. Might as well save it all up and extract as soon as possible. We got way too much stuff. This bow is like fucking 10 skull keys. Maybe less, maybe less, but uh, I think it's really fucking expensive. Um, so yeah, if anyone interested to buy, hit me up. <laughs> but probably by this time I already sold it um, on the market. Alright, not a bad game. Let's go into the next one. Alright, we see a door open. And kill his strike. Dead mob. More open doors. Gotta expect a fucking rope. We didn't get ambushed, more dead mobs. Let's see if there is anyone here. Not the door open, more dead mobs. Dead player, interesting. Two people fighting. Alright. See if we could actually interrupt. Might as well go. Oh, wait. What the fuck? Looks like one of them has won the fight. Interesting. This warlock is probably cooking. Might as well loot the guy that was dead and then I'll come back and see what's up. This wither is kinda cooking. Alright, let's fight with the warlock. Homie is blasting. The mob came from the left. Wait. Wait a second, wait a second. Hold on a minute. Wait, why did this mob came from here? The fuck? Oh, the homie is getting cooked, by the way. Interesting. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. I still don't understand why the mob came from there. The only reason behind this is that if there is another player, and that's just a random fucking warlock, which could be that too. Hmm, I see, I see. 
So I was actually chasing the wrong guy. Fuck me. So this guy took a fight here. Oh, fuck. I would assume he fucking healed up or some shit. Came back, looted the corpse. I should have ignored the fucking naked warlock and chased this guy instead. Oh well. Oh no. Brave Hunters. Based on his cloak, he's not a new player that looks like the demigod cloak. He knows what he's doing. And he's running away from a barb? Bro, he's running away from a barb? And he's fully kiting. Yeah, no, the homie probably already fought barbs. Kinda know what's up. He's not giving me even a single chance to attack him. He's my direct counter. I wouldn't really stand a single chance. Um, and if I do even a little slightly tiny mistake, I die. Also, he is not planning to do any mistakes, it seems like. I could only assume that he has an infinite amount of potion of protection. Question is, how much armor does he have? If I have around 60% uh, armor, yeah, there is no point to fight him. But he has like around 50, yeah, I could win that. The difference between 60% armor and 50 is fucking huge. Say. Ooh. Ooh. Roar, baby. Roar, baby. <laughs> He's right, yeah. The thing is, he is um, the one who is ahead in stats. He has like triple amount of stats. He would need to stab me six times to kill me. And uh, I need to fucking body shot, headshot him like six times. Or if not more. And uh, if I hit any limb, his, I lose, so he's my direct counter. He has a range, I don't... I don't understand though why he's playing so passively. He should be the one who fucking always double Yukimi. Nah, he's not even letting me give a single chance to even attack him. I could've tried to utilize that, but um... He has a, he has a very scared playstyle, so he doesn't want to try and nah, it's like... The homie is my complete counter, but he is so fucking scared to a fight. Now look at that shit. Oh man. Oh shit. You bitch! Damn. I wonder if the wizard has an overload. Let's see what he's gonna do. We're gonna wait out a little bit just to see what the homie's playstyle is and how aggressive he plays. And then we'll commit to a fight. Hmm, interesting. It doesn't. He's not trying to do anything here. Yeah, he's playing very defensively. He's like taking a wide circle around the pillar. He doesn't want me to catch him off guard. He he knows how to play with it. He knows. And I know that if I walk in the student distance, he will blast me. He pushed back. I mean, he got back, and basically, now he wants me to get in doorway, so he'll get a free hit. He wants me to push, he wants me to walk in this uh, hallway. Let's see. The homie is playing defensively, it's like, when both players are playing defensively, the outcome would be whoever push will lose the fight. So, if he's gonna push, I would fucking utilize that and kill him, but if I push, I'm dead. So, I could try risk, but my chance would be low. And this is what's gonna happen. He's gonna blast me with two times with Ice Bolt. And then he's gonna Magic Missile me to death. No, he's very... He, he knows what he's doing. The fuck? Yeah, no, the home is cooking. I also have Extract, just in case. Yeah. 
Nah, I don't want to risk. It's my second game and I don't want to die to Wither. Who knows what he is doing. Mm. I'm half sure already. <laughs> and he still have magic missiles. It would take like two zaps for him to kill me. He doesn't want to break the boxes with the uh, fire. Nah, he doesn't want to fight. He could have break the deep boxes with the fire, commit to a fight, but then he would have died here. Magic, he's using magic missiles. I probably should have let him fucking fully reset so that we'd get to a fight again. Because I do have all the resources. Probably shouldn't have pushed him here. Yeah. It's like, when two people know what they're doing, the fights are really fucking boring. You know? <laughs> And the thing is, that fighter in particular, he was just not a good fighter. He had every fucking advantage in the book over my barbarian build. He is just my direct counter and uh, he was playing fucking so passively. Fighters who plays like this, I don't, I don't know man. He was my direct counter but he was not interested in fighting. That's just weird to me. Wait a second. Who the fuck did this guy appear here? What is the spawn that was able to fucking literally drag him over here? He has hit a shield. If he is good with it, I probably could have died here. But, um... Also, as long as it's not a Rondel Dagger Fighter build, it should be fine. We'll see, we'll see what's gonna be. I don't think a Rondel Fighter should be a thing, I'm telling you. I genuinely don't think it fucking makes any sense. He's not feeling it. He died in just three hits. There's no way. I don't think a homie had anything. You usually don't don't die in fucking three hits. Let's see what he has. Alright. Decent, decent, good. Good enough. Pretty good. Yeah, he doesn't stuck too much armor. He went in with the dark blade. It's alright, kid. Not bad. Mm, okay. Bad mob. Oh, that's good to know. Mm, okay. Hmm. It could be a player spawn, though. No. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. A long distinguishable glitch. Ah oh, man. I'm not standing a single chance against this guy. I still want to try fighting him, but um I stand zero chance to win this guy. I we could try to fuck with him a little. Holy fuck the damage. Bro, that does so much damage, are you fucking serious? Gonna shoot in doorway. He fucking did, yeah. Good thing he shot the Liam. I was so fucking close, holy shit. Basically, like, from the get-go, it's always a bad idea to fight, um, Rondel Buckler Fighter as a barb. Especially if you have a build like I do. Also, that build doesn't even make any fucking sense to begin with. Like, I just don't understand how a plate fighter is capable of indefinitely swinging, do infinite amount of steps. It would make sense if there would be a form of stamina, like you, let's say, you could do like fucking six, seven steps and then your action goes down. Because, for example, Bardish, like you do three attacks, boom, there is a delay. Falchion, you do three attacks, there is a delay. So is Arming Sword. But um, how are you supposed to indefinitely swing Rondel without like any penalties while running full plate? That's some fucking miracle. Alright, usually in the high roller there's either mid room or trolls room. There's really nothing else to do. So yeah. Just gotta fucking hope we come across someone, troll farmer or some shit. Okay. And so far, no really signs. 
Never mind, there is a sign. Well, fucking second player. That's not bad. Not definitely not bad for a high roller. Because usually you don't even get to find people at all in high roller. That's why I don't even bother playing high roller. But so far so good. Well, we almost died to fighter. Time to almost die to a wizard. Nah, I'm kidding. We gotta kill this guy. But uh, the thing is, he is playing with what? That's the bonk. Bonk ignite wizard. Nice. One headshot does the job done. The thing is, even in this whole situation, if I get cooked... Oh, fuck, the home is geared. If I get zapped like once or twice, as fucking it, and like he just bonked me to death. He should have kept casting his stuff. But it's hard to tell what would be the right choice. But the thing is, the bunk wizard is the counter to barbs. It just, um, I guess I was lucky. Or maybe because this guy tried to do a hybrid between um, health and uh, caster while being a bunk wizard. Usually you gotta commit to one aspect. It has to be either full bonk or full caster. If you do in the middle, well, you will end up getting stat checked by the most. Alright, I found no player whatsoever after this one, so we're just gonna go and extract. Oh, there is a goblin mage getting aggroed. See what the homie is doing. Some plate kind of guy. Uh, looks like fighter. You got a bow. The homie brought in the warhammer. The homie is not cooking. I don't want him to catch me with the fucking headshot. Oh. What the? Alright, not bad. Not a bad start. Eh, that's the usual normal. A lot of players as usual. Fucking high roller always one player fucking every 20 minutes. Alright, let's see who do I have here. <laughs> oh, I hit hit those. Ow. Oh, I don't like this. So far, this is a good position. If anyone pushes me, especially if a barb tried to push me. I could try to utilize the high ground. Usually gonna be uh, very helpful. This rogue is kind of a threat, but uh, Potion Chugger does kind of counter in a way the uh, rogues, you know, the throwables and stuff. Oh, look. Hey, fuck the rogues, you know, not me. <laughs> okay, okay. No, not like this. <laughs> oh, our homie died. Let's go kill the rogue now. <laughs> oh, man. I feel emotionally attached to that barb. I felt all the stress he fucking had to endure. Oh shit, this... The homie doesn't fucking miss! Mm. No, 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 I'm good. Yeah, now fuck that, bro. The homie's cooking. We gotta get to a door. Oh, here we go. I was hoping one of the doors wouldn't be broken. We're gonna heal up, we're gonna turn on the rogue. God damn, bro, the fucking rogue was doing the damage, holy cow. But yeah, he hit me five times with throwing knives, it's fucking understandable. It has to do damage. Also, you have fucking rupture, poison. That's just the way I fucking play a rogue, in fact. Bro, the homie, look at my fucking health, it's draining down. He also plays with the double jump. Wow, bro, one rupture, one poison, fucking sword of health. That's good. But it doesn't matter. I have potion charger. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Bro, like, who is the fucking hunter here? Me or the rogue? The homie is cutting the fuck out of me. Oh, you fucked up, buddy. You fucked up big time, dog. What are you gonna do now? Tell me. Tell me what you're gonna do, Britta. Gee, fucking gee. 
Not gonna lie, that was kind of stressful. I don't get to fight rogues like this that often. Usually they pop up in this. I hit him twice, they die. <laughs> well, this guy died also into his, but before that he fucking put me in a position where I nearly fucking fully died. Let's see what he has. Alright, he has some stuff. Definitely not bad. We take that. Alright. Oh, we have a barb. Barb lizard. <laughs> yeah, you know, all good, all good. Don't worry about it. Just passing by, just passing by. Listen. Nah, there's no point to kill him. He's playing with the fucking quarter stuff. The guy hate himself. We'll just go find fight somebody else, you know what I mean? Let's see what the homie has, by the way. Praying. I remember this snake nickname. I already saw him somewhere. Well, full legendary kid was very mid. I should have fucking killed him, bro. But it doesn't change the fact that the homie is playing with the quarter stuff, so he's not like, you know, treating the game competitively or anything. He's just chilling big time. So yeah, I guess maybe it's a good thing that we didn't kill him, you know? All right, so far we skipped one spawn. Okay, mobs are not dead here. Nope. Okay. Mob not dead. All right. There we go. We have a guy here. I want to break this door, but I want to lose my Achilles. And I have too many mobs. Might as well actually just fucking lose Achilles. It's fine. What the fuck is this lag, bro? Fucking two second rubber band, I call it this way. It's like when you teleport back in place. Fucking hate that shit. It's like if you get this issue med fight or if you get this bullshit when you're killing a boss, you just die. Alright, let's bait him back here and then... And then what? We'll kill him. Simple as that. Yeah, come here. Achilles. Nope, he was not invested anymore. He's waiting out. He got shot, by the way. Nope. It's okay. Nice. He stopped moving. He doesn't want to get hurt. Bro, the homie is fucking cooking, I'm telling you. Nah. I'll take that back. Here we go. Oh shit, the homie is cooking. He used blood exchange. GG, brother. When people are using blood exchange in Achilles strike, the moment you get hit by Achilles strike, you want to jump as much so that they don't regenerate HP. When you just move around, you're just basically giving them HP, but if you're jumping, nope. Um, not as much. At least. We have a rogue here. Eh, definitely a rogue. He got hit by trap. <laughs> oh, he went in this. Come on, it's me, bro. What yo, the yo, fuck? Yo. Yo, it's not a hacker, guys. Sorry, I can't spare a rogue. Goodbye. I don't want to kill this guy. He knows me. So yeah, let him cook. I'm just gonna walk away from him. Simple as that. Look at you fucking kid it, dude. No fucking way, dude. What's the bill, bro? Bro, you can't be doing this. Not gonna lie, I don't want to kill him, but um... That's just not right. If I let him leave. You're so fast, dude. Oh, I'm green gear. No. Sorry, brother, but I had to do it. I usually don't, but it just the um, bad circumstances. I found no players whatsoever after that, so we'll just go next one. All right, oh, you bitch. Oh, we have a guy. That's nice. All right, let's see what the homie has. He is a buckler, a lone lone bar. He doesn't seem very good to me. Nice. I hit him once. That's good enough for me.
Oh, <laughs> nice block. That mob probably could block. Ah, oh, never mind. You fuck. You have to be fucking kidding me. If I wouldn't land that headshot, I would be so fucking dead. How did that fucking mob hit me? Could someone explain me physically? How was it even fucking possible? The homie doesn't have shit, I'm pretty sure. No, he has a little bit of stuff. He has right attributes to do damage. Getting hit by the goblin was crazy, dude. If I didn't land headshot, I would be so fucking dead here. I would be so fucking dead, man. In fact, I should have died here. It's like my life already flashed in my eyes. I was like, ah. I'm fucking dead, dude. <laughs> but I kept fighting, you know? You have to keep fighting. Even if uh, you have to fight farmers, it's still... You gotta fight till the end. Hey, uh, hmm. before, uh, before we get going here, alright? Listen, there's a Timmy on that door, there's somebody walking in this room, and then on my way here, there was a guy behind me. So if we do this, we're gonna get third party three ways. Just FYI. Okay. Oh, fuck it, let's fight. Alright. Good luck to you, brother. Thank you, man. Hey, by the way, I don't believe the allegations. Hell yeah, brother. Alright, so this is what I can say about this guy. He has full plate, he has survival ball, and also he has a rondel buckler. So he's my direct counter, not just direct counter, but an ultimate fucking counter. The problem here is in order for me to kill him, I would have to headshot him at least four, maybe five times. And in order for him to kill me, he needs to stab me six times. Maybe even less if it's gonna be like headshots. But he's not invested in fighting me with anything other than a survival bow. And I can't really do much about him. So he's playing passively, really fucking passively, and I just have no other options. Basically, he if like he shot me a couple of times, look, he's running away from me. Damn. He invited me to fight, and this is how he fights? A homie invited me to fight, and all he does is running around with Sir Raubo. What a pathetic fucking behavior. Nah. like I already don't stand a chance to fight me and what the fuck it's like the thing is my build is not made for a fights like this but um he is still like all he does is run away I mean you're a fucking fighter you're not a fucking ranger holy shit this is pissing me the fuck off it's like if you want to stay behind the pillar I could do the same thing you will never land a shot so he wants me to be aggressive when he have like triple stats advantage. Nah, man, this is fucking bullshit. I gotta be, I gotta be real careful about you, bro. This is this isn't my uh, this is my warm up kit. So <laughs> you probably gotta lay me out if you get up up on me. <laughs> I mean, you're in a dominant position. You're not pushing me. It's I understand this. I understand you want to win. So do I. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't push him. It's an uh, impossible fight for me. He's fast, he's too fast. And he's just gonna be in death play kiting me. No, the guy doesn't want to fight this. Just... Uh. You're wasting my time, brother. A guy has triple amount of stats, 150 health, 60% PDR, he is my direct counter, he is the fighter. All he did is just run away from me.
God damn. Oh shit, this guy's pretty good. Yeah, definitely not bad. Bro, we have another fucking Rondo Buckler fighter. This is so fucking annoying. This guy at least aggressive though. Yeah, no, that's Stalux. I already came across this guy many times. He always likes to talk shit in my DMs. And then complain that I talk shit back. <laughs> mm, I gotta think how I could have killed him. I think I probably could kite him all the way into the spider room. I probably will be able to kite him around here, maybe. Not 100% certain though. And also, like, the risk of that I will die is gonna be very fucking high. Now that I think of it, I don't think I really give a single fuck about the stuff that I have in my inventory. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I could replace those rings, though, for a fight. Alright, let's get active. Oh, okay, that's a big fuck up. No, never mind, it's fine. Okay. He knows I'm hurt, so... It would be beneficial for him to push me around. Okay. Alright, into the spider room we go. Maybe he can get smacked by him up. Nah, he didn't. I gotta think of uh, how I can get some high ground position. I probably could use this staircase. Let's try it. Didn't use second one, did he? Oh, fuck. I'm stuck here, bro. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, bro, what? <laughs> oh, man, that's funny, though. Even though we died, it absolutely doesn't matter. My fucking plan worked out, and I got him. And that's what mattered. Even though, yeah, I probably could have fucking survived. I think if I just rushed W toward mobs. I would literally fucking survive there. But, uh, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's demo. And I'll see you in the dungeon. Peace out.